hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is Alin Luvi and if today is your first time please subscribe like and share and if you're already part of this family I just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart thank you for sticking around thank you for supporting me and uh, guys just last week we hit uh, 1000 subscribers I'm really really grateful for that thank you for supporting me so much and please keep on sharing keep on liking because the, the the channel depends on you guys so please support me keep on supporting me keep on sharing to your friends to everyone who is interested in learning about the diversity visa so thank you so much we're just gonna go right into our today's video as you already saw the title of this video today we are gonna talk about um how to get a host I know so many people have been asking me in the comment section uh, you you promised us to talk about how to get a host in the United States and why are you keep taking so long to do that video so today is the video I'm making that video for you guys you have been waiting for so long so here's the video for you guys so stay tuned after the intro I'll be back and tell you more on how to get the host when you want to come to the United States. Before we go into the details on how to get a host, I'm just gonna uh, remind you in the last video, I talked about uh, the difference between the host and the sponsor. You know, now you know the difference, so please we are not talking about a sponsor a sponsor is someone who is supporting you financially or any other type of ways so we are not talking about sponsor when when we when it comes to diversity visa so here we are talking about the host and if you haven't watched that video i suggest you go and watch that so that you will understand more about the difference between the two so how to get the host in the united states if you have won the DV lottery, congratulations to you because you will be needing a host if you want to come here to, to proceed with the next step. So the first thing, how to get a host. The first thing that you will do is to contact a family member or a friend who lives in the United States. How will you do that? Uh, that will depend with your relationship. This is the time to cultivate a good relationship with the people who live here. Maybe you have lost contact for a very long time with your family who lives here. So this is the best time to contact them, to start asking them about uh, questions about the United States. Just show your interest in the United States and try to make a good connection with that person so that in the end you will ask them to to help you to host you when you come here so the first thing is to get in touch with your family if you have any relative here or any friend here you can get in touch with them and uh, give them expose to them your problem that you will need a host you don't need to tell them you need a sponsor because when you tell someone that you need a sponsor that person might uh, get scared maybe because you know here in the united states people have so many bills to pay so they will be worried maybe that person can run away if you tell them that you need a sponsor so the the best thing to do is to tell them that you need a host a host will just help you with their address and that can also um, change when you come here you can decide to change your address or to um, to rent an apartment for yourself or you can also decide if that host is okay to, for you to stay at their place you can still stay at their place so first thing to contact your relative or your friend anybody you know who lives in the United States get in touch with them okay yeah so that's the first thing the second thing to do is to um, ask a friend I know some of your friends have relatives or friends 
who are in the United States. You can get in touch with those people, ask your friend, your friend's friends, your, fa your, your friend's family, ask, talk to your friend, expose to them your problem that you want the DV lottery. And the only thing that you need now is the address that you can put in your DS-260 so that um, the, when you go to the embassy, you won't have any problem. So you have to tell them the process, you have to tell them how the things um, is supposed to be exposed to them your problem so that they would might be able to help you so contact your friends who have families here who have friends here please talk to somebody okay it's not time to be ashamed it's not it's time to swallow your pride if you have so much pride you can you have to swallow that and contact someone for help and ask for help okay yeah so that's the second thing the first thing i said to contact your relative or your friends the second thing is to contact your friend's friend or your your friend's relatives okay so this is the the the, the most common one that you may find so many people come here and they find those kind of hosts okay and the third how to get a host the third point i'm gonna talk about is to make an arrangement with someone it can be your friend you know some people may say okay no we are not we are not ready to um to receive anybody right now so the best thing to do will be to um to make an arrangement with that person you can say maybe if i go there we will split the bills in the middle in half i will pay half you pay half okay so that can be the electricity bill that can be the the um the rent so you split that in half you pay half and you, the other person pay half and that can also be a way of getting a host so this should be done before you come here don't make problem with people when you come here so that they start um maybe yes that may be a problem if you don't talk about that in advance if you come here you just said somebody's place uh you didn't uh, talk about anything you're just there sleeping eating their food that can be a problem so you have to make an arrangement before you come here so that there might not be a problem when you guys separate okay so yeah that's one of the ways you can do another uh, thing you can do is to get a hotel okay there are so many hotels on google you can google the hotels first of all try to search on the city where you want to go you can search about these cheapest cities the affordable cities in the united states and try to look for a motel or a hotel and talk to their manager you can tell them that you're playing the dv lottery so that uh, you will need their address you can put that address on your ds260 because the main thing you need is your is an address where you can stay so you will need that address you can come to that motel and pay for maybe one month you can stay in the motel for one month paying if you have the money so you can stay in the motel for one month and uh, yeah this is one of the possibilities too you can do okay yeah so apart from that i can suggest that you start talking to people on facebook okay the people uh sometimes we spend uh, a lot of time on social media without doing anything good it's not giving us anything back so the time you spend on social media is the time for you to make friends all over the world so it might be one friend that you are talking you 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 used to talk to on social media that person maybe lives in the united states you can still talk to that friend you just tell them i need accommodation for one week or two weeks when i came there when i come there so that person i think they would be might be able willing to help you Mm, other than that you can search on friends on facebook groups on facebook just try to look for people on facebook on social media instagram all those kind of people and another way can be the community 
let's say I'm from Congo so I can go on Facebook and search for my community on Facebook the Congolese community in the United States I'm sure all of the countries have their communities so you can try to get in touch with the the, um, the manager or the the leader of that community and try to let them know your problem that you need accommodation that might be one of the solutions to expose your problem to the community i'm sure that leader will talk to the community to everyone in the community and they might find a person who will be able will be willing to help you okay yeah and um, the last solution that i can suggest you is to find the um, the church if you are a christian you can look for a church if you are a muslim you can look for a mosque and try to look for those communities try to talk to the pastors you can reach out to the pastor by facebook by instagram you know these days it's very easy to get in touch with somebody so you can reach those to those people tell them that you want to come to the united states but you don't have accommodation explain to them how you played developatory and you won and now you need a host not a sponsor you need a host to host you for um for a lapse of time let's say maybe one one week two weeks or one month for the time for you to stabilize to put everything together and start for looking for your own ways making your own money yeah so these are the um, suggestions that i have for you but if there are people who are here in the united states who have other ideas of how to get a host please type them in the comment section that would be really helpful so yeah that's it for for this video i think i've said it all yeah and um, i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye